My, let me take a look at you. You've come so far in your studies. I can scarcely recognize the fresh-faced young student you were when you first arrived in Wizard City. As I said, it has come time for you to learn a new and powerful spell to reflect your newfound abilities. I am afraid that gaining this spell won't come easily. The spell I have for you is a mighty one indeed. The summoning of a fire dragon, a titan, is no small thing. A great and hard-won sacrifice must be made to appease the fire dragon and show that you're worthy to summon him. First, I need you to collect four fire shards from some powerful creatures of flame. Prince Alakane in Wizard City, Beatty Narini in Crocotopia, the stray sunbird in Marleybone, and Ember Everburn in Mushu. You've returned. I hope you didn't find the fire shards too difficult to collect. Now that you've got four fire shards, it's time to make a dragon star pendant for you to wear while summoning the fire dragon. Without that pendant, the dragon won't pay any attention to you. 
Don't worry, though. I'm not going to send you out to wreak any havoc or fight anything this time. It's even a local trip. You only need to head to the amulet store here in Wizard City and ask Pierre Gallant Main, the proprietor, for a flame crux to place the fire shards into. He should have a few on hand. Easy peasy. A flame crux? Professor Falmea told you I had him lying around? Is she mad? Was she joking? Dear me, young wizard, I'm afraid that Professor Falmea has the wrong impression about those. They're extremely rare and valuable magic items that don't exactly grow on trees or fall out of the sky. I only see a flame crux once in a blue moon. I've heard that there's a flame kiln in the ring shop back in Dragonspire. You might find one in there. Here are some tongs and gloves to use if you're going to rummage around in that fire. Bring it back here when you're done. Don't burn yourself. You peer into the fire at the heart of the flame kiln and see something bright and shining, made of gold. You put on the gloves and use the tongs to fish the item out of the flames. The flame crux is beautiful, with four slots that look like they'll fit the fire shards perfectly. It's hard to believe that this is a natural occurrence. (laughs) Let me take a look at the flame crux. Hmm. That's a nice-looking one indeed. Give me a moment and I'll get it ready for you. Pierre gets to work on the flame crux. The metal is soft enough that he's able to shape it quickly. He hands it back to you, ready for the fire shards. That's some nice work, if I may say so myself. Take that back to Miss Felmea with my fond regards. You look pleased with yourself, young wizard. I trust you've brought a flame crux. With the four fire shards and the flame crux in hand, we can begin to form the dragon star, the pendant you'll need to summon the fire titan. Professor Falmea shows you how to attach your four fire shards into the flame crux. When the fire shards are in place, it begins to glow. Now you must go to Mavra Flamewing's tower in Dragonspire and call the fire dragon while wearing the dragon star. Her tower is the best place to summon the fire dragon. Mavra might be a nuisance, though. Don't get cocky, young wizard. You've learned the art of the attack, but what happens when you cannot land an attack on your opponent? Defense is the key to survival. Defend yourself.
With Mavra Flamewing out of the way, you remove the Dragon Star from your tunic and call for the Fire Dragon. Little mortal, you bring me the Dragon Star and have shown yourself worthy. You have walked through fire without fear. I will take your offering and will aid you when summoned. Return to your teacher now to learn the spell of summoning. The fire dragon tested you, and you came through unhurt. Wonderful! I had my worries. At any rate, here's your new spell. Do not cast it frivolously. (laughs) 